Hey guys, it's CSFan001 here for the road to my 190th Platinum Trophy. So, number 190 was, as expected, LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean, the video game. So now I've done maybe like six total LEGO Platinums. Uh, this one is a little more tricky just because of the way they do the collectibles, and I'll get to that in a minute, but it's still a very easy LEGO game. I mean, no LEGO game's going to be above like a 3 out of 10 at most, except for uh, LEGO Rock Band, but that really doesn't count. Uh, you're going to earn a few trophies just by completing the game. Uh, then you have to collect all gold bricks and complete the game to 100%. Now, this game is a little bit less to do for 100%. You just have to uh, buy all the characters in the game. Uh, I can't remember exactly how many there are, though. And then you have to find all 85 gold bricks, but you'll get 80 of them by 100%ing each level. So there's only five you have to get back in the hub world. Actually, technically four, and one of them is a uh, due to a bonus level you can do after you collect the other 84. So that's really actually not too bad this time around, uh, completing the game to 100%, and then you have like some of these other various ones. Some of these relate to unlocking various characters, like the Flying Dutchman crew or the Queen Anne's Revenge. Uh, the Red Hats are this game's version of the Red Bricks. Uh, that's story-related, and that's story-related. Uh, that's story-related. Uh, then you've got more character ones. Uh, you have to complete Port Royal without dying, as well as in story with zero studs. So that one can be a little bit trickier just because, I can't remember, do you have to do this one? Yeah, you have to do it in story without dying. Those really aren't hard, just you have to know that they're there to more specifically go for them. Uh, that's story related. That's very easy. And then that's story related. Uh, that one's pretty simple. Uh, this one is a little bit trickier. I would say that probably level four is the best for that. Uh, this one you can only do once you've completed all the mini kits. Uh, this one is just unlock all characters. That's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, all the extra toggle characters, that means you basically have to scroll through all the characters available to you in each level once in free play with the extra toggle ability on. Uh, the Jack Sparrow characters, so that's more characters. Uh, I believe that one's story-related. That one's almost guaranteed as long as you have the multipliers. Uh, that one's pretty easy. That one is pretty simple because there's a lot of studs in this game. Uh, this one's a little annoying. You do need two controllers to platinum this one. Uh, and then this one right here actually gave me a lot of trouble because I apparently missed one somewhere. But I eventually got it. I missed the snail in uh, the second movie in one of the Flying Dutchman ship levels. Uh, you apparently cannot do this one in co-op either. So I would say keep that in mind. Uh, then this one. Uh, that one's pretty easy. That one's pretty easy. That one's guaranteed. Uh, this is the very last one I got. Jeez, I keep skipping through them by accident. That one's almost guaranteed. Uh, this one is easy, and then that one's a little trickier, but it's still simple. Uh, the thing about the collectibles in this game, though, is that each level has 18 total collectibles plus true pirate mode, which is collecting enough studs. You have the 10 mini kits, but you also have to find 8 compass points, and they're really, really annoying to find because there's no, like... Uh, there's no detector in the game for those. So that one, that was kind of aggravating for me. I really did not like that about the game, and that made it a little bit tougher overall. But it's still, it's not that hard of a platinum trophy. It's just, it's a little more complicated. Also, I found this game to be a little bit glitchier and some of the mini kits to be a little bit harder to find than normal. But maybe that was just me. This was one of the earlier LEGO games, so that was more of a trend in the earlier LEGO games that they were generally a little bit harder than the ones we see today. But with that, level 41, 94%, 9,876 total trophies, 190 platinums, 952 golds, 2,440 silvers, 6,294 bronzes. So with that, I don't know what my next platinum trophy will be. I haven't decided exactly what it'll be yet. But whatever it is, obviously you guys will see a video of it. So see you guys then.